Good morning, tiny friends, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you a huge miniature haul that I have been blessed to be able to do this summer while I was visiting with my sister. Now, this haul came from Earth and Tree Dollhouse and Miniatures, and I really want to thank fellow mini maker Shira from Queen City Minis for giving me the 411 on this dollhouse store. And I gotta say, tiny friends, Shira is one of my favorite mini makers. So if you don't know who she is and haven't been to Queen City Minis channel, please click the link below because she has fabulous miniature creations and I absolutely adore her miniature visions. Now, Shira is also a featured artist on my website, tinykeyhole.com. So you can connect with her that way as well. Thank you, Shira. Now, this store was absolutely so huge. I was like a kid in a candy store. And I went in with a specific list for things that I was looking for for the Josephine house. And I fulfilled my list. And of course, I went beyond the list as well. So <laughs> it was so much fun, Shira. Thank you so much for giving me the info and I got to say tiny friends now this first miniature is my one of my favorite pieces that I found and it was on my list it was number one on my list now these are a resin a pair of resin boots and I absolutely love them so much and just look at the detail on these tiny friends they are so lovely and now in the josephine house just lives a little old granny and her husband has passed some years ago and she likes to leave some of his belongings put as he has left behind because it just makes her feel like he's still alive in the house with her so tiny friends i had to find him his boots so i will be creating a little scene with these boots and sharing that with you later on down the road and i will also be sculpting my granny out of polymer clay so tiny friends i was so blessed to find these boots now my next miniature item here is uh, something that reminded me of my aunt when i saw this little clock i saw her and i had to get it i love how the paint is aged on it and the lighthouse scene in the front now she was a lighthouse collector and she loved the ocean life and the coast and so i just could not pass this up i thought it'd make a lovely shelf sitter or tabletop clock and the clock face says quartz and paris on it so i had to pick that up now here's a comfy little pet bed that i thought was just so stinking cute i love how comfy the cushion is and the fabric on it and now i have made a pet bed in the past and the granny does have a little companion with her now i can't tell if this is resin or plastic but i will be highlighting some of the detail on this little basket before i display it now her little companion needs several comfy little beds around the homestead because he does follow her along wherever she goes. So whether this will be in the bedroom or the sewing room or on the porch or by the barn, I will be placing it somewhere where she spends a lot of her time so that her little companion can have a nice comfy place to rest. <laughs> I just love this little bed. It's so cute. Now, here are just some little baskets, nothing fancy. They were two for like 25 cents or something like that. So I got a, a variety of sizes and I, I'm going to need baskets. You can never have too many baskets on the farm. And so I'll probably be filling these up with some fresh produce from her garden with polymer clay. Now this next, uh, miniature i didn't know i needed this until i saw it tiny friends and this is one of the few items missing from the josephine bathroom so i will be painting all that white and aging it up a little bit before i display it in the bathroom now this coat rack here i have an idea for tiny friends i have a bentley house minis hall tree kit 
that I will be doing later on and I thought this might look really good mounted on the hall tree. Now I'm going to cross my fingers that it fits because if it does it's going to be just perfect for it. So I will be sharing that project later on down the road with you all as well. Now this um, is an item that you know I can make myself tiny friends but I was in the moment and these little papers were pennies so I thought why not I love this vintage paper it fits the era of the Josephine house and I just couldn't help myself now these two pieces are printed on photo paper and I really loved them so much if there were more I would have purchased more of them but these were the only two there and they kind of remind me of when people use old newspapers to line drawers or sometimes you actually see this kind of paper used as uh, wallpaper and I've seen it before used as wallpaper so I have no idea what I will be doing with it but I really did just love them so much so I picked them up as well and <laughs> this last three pieces here these last three pieces I'm actually gonna create one whole newspaper from these I think but I love that it said New York World Telegram because I am originally from New York and I like to incorporate New York in any of my miniatures whenever I can so you know I thought okay I'm gonna pick this up but my favorite part is this page here because you can't have a newspaper without the comic strip page and it has the little puzzle on it with the previous puzzle and the answers. I believe it has a TV guide on the bottom. And I just loved it so much. Now, here um, is uh, a few miniatures that I needed for the barn. So these were on my list. And I paid around $7 for this handsaw here. And I really don't mind paying a little more than I want to when it comes to a more realistic miniature. And uh, this little saw is pretty realistic. I love how you can see the blade inserted in between the wood handle and the, sharp, the teeth are very sharp. And I just thought this was perfect. So I picked this up as well. And same for this axe here. Again, it was $7, but this is a really realistic looking axe. It's metal. It has a little bit of weight to it. And I will be highlighting and detailing this axe before I display it. And you'll see in this last package here, uh, the difference between uh, the tools here. Now these uh, were just a few dollars and I love that it comes with the three assorted axes and chopping tools and the heads are metal and I will definitely be painting these up and giving these detail to create a little bit more realistic look for them. But uh, the granny's husband definitely chopped a lot of wood and made a lot of builds. So, you know, he needed a variety of chopping tools on the farm. Now, tiny friends, the next item um, is definitely something that I was looking for specifically. So it was on my list and I needed some horseshoes. So I was able to find some horseshoes and they had a couple different options, but these ones were my favorite and I purchased whatever they had left. So I absolutely love the details and they were only a few dollars. I love that they're metal and I just thought they were more realistic compared to the other horseshoes that they had. So um, I was very lucky to find these. Now I know that the couple used to have horses uh, when they were younger, but I'm not sure if the granny is still going to have a horse or two on the farm. Now I have been collecting um, animals and livestock for the farm when I get to the barn part of the farm but um, I don't I haven't come across any horses yet so if she no longer has horses which is a very possibility because of her age um, 
she will definitely have the horseshoes that remain behind because you know when you have horses you need horseshoes and I know that they definitely did have horses back in their younger years so whether these go in the barn or outside of the barn they will be placed somewhere around the barn and I am very happy to have them Okay, tiny friends, so now I'm going to show you some hardware that I picked up for some projects that I have in mind. And the first package here are um, metal brackets sh for shelves. And I need to make some more shelves. You can never have enough shelves to display your miniatures. So I grabbed a couple of these as well. And this next package here, I love these drawer pulls. And I have a few ideas for these, but I'm not really sure on what I'm going to go with. But I also love that it comes with bonus package material here. And I am excited about that because I got four pieces here and I can use them to create baking ware or cookware, or baking dishes or something like that for the Josephine house. And then I found these door hinges that I definitely, they were on my list. I have a plan for these, but they also come with bonus material <laughs> and recyclable packaging as well. So I'm super excited for that, tiny friends. But I thought these hinges would look really good on um, those old storm cellar doors that you see outside of the houses. And I will be creating um, a set of those doors for the Josephine house. And I call them tornado doors, but I used to live in an old farmhouse that had those. So I'll be using those for a reference. And they did have handles on them like these. So I just thought that was really awesome that I found those. And then I found this cute little tiny padlock that I will also be adding on to those doors. And now I'm going to be referencing the doors that I had at my old house and trying to recreate those doors and I just thought this would be a really fun project to share with you all tiny friends so I will be doing that as well now this miniature item here that I'm going to show you is something that I have seen online several times and I just kept passing it up I have created my own canisters for the Josephine house. So I'm not sure if some of these will be making their way into the house or I'll use them for a later purpose. But I love the canisters. You get oatmeal rice, barley tea, and then you get all your uh, spices down there. Now to me, you got allspice, cloves, ginger, and nutmeg. And to me, those are holiday spices that I normally use during the holiday season. So those might make their way into the house. But online, when I would see these, I really could not tell what the image was. And when I saw them up close, I realized that the image was a Dutch scene. You know, those blue images that you see with the windmills and, you know, you see them on the porcelain clogs or the decorative collecting plates. So once I saw that, I was like, okay, I'm going to pick these up because I do have a little bit of Dutch blood in me from my grandmother. And I really thought, okay, I'll pick them up. <laughs> I was in the moment. It was one of those things. And this piece here is just one whole piece all mounted together. It's not a solid piece, but these little canisters here, the lids do come off and not that you would be able to see what's inside of them, but if you decided to create a scene in the kitchen where the dolls are cooking or baking or whatever, you can then take the lid off, fill it up with its components, and your viewer would be able to see them. So I have no idea yet what I'm going to do with them, but I picked them up. <laughs> and again, it wasn't something I needed, but in the moment kind of thing. And I also picked up some of these cute little glass uh, spice jars with the lids. Now, I've already used a few of these. I used a couple of them in the fortune teller room and that I recently did. And I also used one as an, a vintage Alka-Seltzer 
bottle that you'll see on the nightstand when we get into the Josephine house. And then here was a, a miniature that I have seen online and thought, oh my goodness, where do I get one of those? So when I saw this in the store, I absolutely had to have it. These little metal measuring spoons, you can see the prints of the measurements on them. And this definitely needed to be in the Josephine house kitchen. They're so cute. I love them so much. Now here is a piece that I saw online as well. And when I found it in the store, I picked it up. It's an enamelware uh, bowl, and I'm not sure if it's a wash bin. It's a fairly large bowl. So I'm not sure if it's a wash bin or a vegetable bowl, serving bowl, but I am a collector of enamelware. And in the 1930s, it was a very common household item to have enamelware in your kitchen with your dishes and your cookware. So I definitely grabbed this one and I will be thinking of something to do with it. I will come up with some project to create and uh, use this, this bowl with. Now I also grabbed a couple of cast iron skillets and I still use my cast iron skillets so I definitely needed some of these. This is a item that has been used forever and ever and ages and ages and so I definitely needed some of these for the farmhouse and I'm not sure if I will be um, aging them a little or giving them a little bit of detail but I might actually use one of them to um, use for a cooking scene so those are definitely in the Josephine house now here's another item tiny friends that I could have made myself but when I saw these vintage towel cloths or dish cloths I loved them so much I love the color I love the print and I decided to pick up a package and then I definitely had to unfold it and see how it was, you know, put together, folded up. Now, I am definitely going to use these to create more um, towels, but I have a ton of fabric, but I just, I really love these and I didn't have, I don't have this print or this color. So I will be using these as a template to create more, but these are definitely going to go into the Josephine house. Now this is a stock pot that I found. It's the largest pot I have in the house and it is enamelware as well, but I have an idea for this pot. So I do have a project in mind that I will be sharing with you all later down the road. So this will not be in the kitchen, but it will be used for another purpose in the Josephine house. So I'm excited to try and create that miniature vision that I'm having for this pot because it's going to be challenging. So we'll see how that goes. Now in the dollhouse, um, when I purchased it, it was already uh, put together and pretty much finished and it did not have electric in it so I will be using battery operated lights so I picked up a couple lights and I love this one it's got the vintage tulip sh shade on it and it's very bright and it reminds me of a Tiffany lamp and I thought it would fit very well for the 1930s farmhouse and then I picked up a hurricane lamp here that I am using on the nightstand in the Josephine house bedroom. Now these battery operated lights are more expensive than your electric lights. So uh, this is an item that I have to purchase, you know, one at a time along the way, but I do need to definitely uh, purchase more lights for the house. Okay, tiny friends, here's another item that was on my list. I seen these online and I really wanted to purchase them. I purchased a few so that I can actually dress up a couple and 
list them in my shop on my website and I was really excited that I found these. Now the Josephine house doesn't have a laundry room but I will be creating a laundry scene out in the yard and I thought I might put this in maybe the sewing room. I'm going to create a sewing room or a spare bedroom so I'll be using that for that purpose. Now I needed some rocking chairs and I specifically wanted these style with the ladder backs and I chose the unpainted because I actually want to weather these up some. Now I'm used to distressing paint and I'm used to aging stained wood but for these ones I want to go with that weathered gray color wood that you see like on steps like wooden steps or some wooden furniture that has been sitting out in the elements outdoors uh it kind of turns like gray color so i'm gonna have to figure out how to create that tiny friends but that's what those are gonna look like now here's a crescent bond set that i have had my eye on and could not wait to get and i found it here in the shop so I decided to pick it up and I actually created a waterfall vanity and I decided, you know, I, I really need some pieces for the vanity. And this is the vanity that I created and I'm thinking about actually creating another one down the road. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I needed some pieces to go along the top of the vanity and this is just cardstock and you know you got a partially open drawer here with the granny's babushka scarves and I created this from my Cricut machine with my Cricut program and just converted the dimensions down so I definitely needed a vanity set and I'm gonna have so much fun uh, designing these and painting them and detailing them so this is definitely a must have. I believe I had it on my list. Okay, so tiny friends, I'm gonna show you a few kits that I picked up. And the first kit that I have here is a condiment kit. Now these labels are too modern for the Josephine house, but I pretty much picked up the kit for the jars. And I can recreate, you know, vintage labels that better fit the Josephine house or I can use these jars for other purposes I'm not sure yet which I'm gonna do but um, I pretty much picked it up for the purpose of the jars alone I like that it came with a few different jars here you get five different jars and I just really you know can f use them as fillers or whatever but here is a bag that came with two different kits and I love the little canning jam jars and the shelf here. And this is the main reason why I picked up the kit and also that little wine bottle that I don't have yet. So this is a miniatures world bag and it's a couple kits from their collection. And now the jars, jam jars here come with little stickers that you actually put over the lids. But I actually want to create ragtop lids for these canning jars um, just to better fit the Josephine house. So I just thought that would be a great little farmhouse accessory for the kitchen. And then with this kit here, it came with the shelf with the pegs. And gosh, I got so many ideas for this shelf alone. And then it also came with some labels for the wine bottle here and you can put the wine bottle on the top of the shelf you can do many different things with this little kit here now it comes with two labels one looks like it's more clear than the other and it also came with four glasses now i like this label this first label here because it looked a little bit more vintage on the bottle but I absolutely love the bottle. This was a great bottle. And here are four glasses that it came with. And I love those as well. Little wine goblets. So I'm going to take them out. And 
this whole kit is so versatile. I had so many ideas, but I love these little glasses. They're made of plastic or resin, and you can hang them upside down on the pegs like this. You can place them on the top of the shelf with the bottle and then hang some aprons on the shelf pegs. I love this kit so much. So, tiny friends, this is definitely a fun little kit that I will be sharing with you guys when I decide on what I'm actually going to do with it. And because I have so many ideas, it might take some time, but it will be fun. So I'm excited for that, and I'm excited to share that with you all. Now I also have here a vintage basket kit, and I've seen another mini maker uh, actually do a similar kit to this in one of her videos, and I thought I could recreate it myself with paper, but then I saw it in the shop, and I said, I'm going to pick it up, and I love the fact that they are vintage wicker baskets. So this is actually going to be a fun little kit to create with you all. And it's actually going to fit very well on the farm. Here is a Chris and Bond kit that I have been wanting for a very long time now. And I didn't actually think I would end up uh, owning this kit. So I went ahead and actually created some of these pieces myself that are already in the Josephine house bathroom. But I could still use a couple of these pieces and I can always use the other pieces for a, another bathroom or other purposes or maybe little room scenes. So I'm really excited about this kit and I love doing Chris and Bond kits. They're super fun and super easy. So I definitely picked it up while I was able to. Now here is another Chris and Bond kit. It's the sewing room kit. And I will be creating the spare room to be a sewing room. And I've seen these sewing machines dressed and designed and painted so nicely. And I actually think I'm going to use some rub-ons. I'm not really sure yet, but I definitely have plans for it. It comes with scissors, measuring tape, a pattern envelope, a dress form. And this is going to be a fun kit to create. So this was, I believe, on my list as well. Now, tiny friends, um, this was one of my favorite finds in the store. It was, they are actually random bags for 25 cents and you could not, I could not, not get these. I think between my sister and I, we pretty much cleared out the basket that they had and it just comes with random things. I thought this was a genius idea. They are so inspiring. Definitely one of my favorite finds. Definitely, definitely. And when I went back for the second time, I was hoping that they had refilled the basket, but I knew that the basket was going to be empty. It was. I knew there wasn't enough time span in between to create more bags and put together, you know, bags, enough bags to fill the basket. But the first bag that I opened up, we couldn't wait to open these up. So we actually opened them up as soon as we got back to the house and started swapping out pieces and trading individual pieces with each other. But I did find some really great miniature pieces for the kitchen. And I'll show you that as well. Now this first piece looks like a little thimble, and but it's big enough to be a planter or a bucket of some sort. So, you know, that's definitely a good piece and here's little remnant pieces of jewelry plastic jewelry now this looks like a milkshake uh, container a little milkshake mixer cup and it's metal and I I seen it in the petite princess collection so I'm not sure if that came from there now here's um, some 3d printed stickers and I also found a couple seed bags in this uh, bag so I'm definitely going to need those in the Josephine house or in the farm for her garden. And there's just, I'm just so excited. I'm touching everything, but there's just so many great pieces in this little bag collection here. I've got some circuit concept electrical pieces that I could use for 
other miniatures. It's very inspiring. I have two different pieces and I also found some more of these pieces in the other bags as well. And since the house doesn't have electric, I will need them for other creations. So um, great inspiration here, tiny friends. This was a genius find. Here's a little container of heart-shaped metal eyelets. I'm so super excited about these bags and to show you these what's in these bags here. I will probably use these for something down the road. Here's a great little frame. It could be a window, a picture, a mirror. Uh, so this was lovely to have. It's plastic. I don't know if it's 3D printed, but I will find a purpose for this as well. Okay, so now here is a distinctive piece, tiny friends. Now, I am pretty sure this is coming from one of those antique Victorian gramophone record players. And I actually um, researched this and found the miniature that this piece actually belongs to. So I will definitely be recreating that style record player to put this piece back into use. I am super excited to share that project with you, tiny friends. Now, here's the second bag, and it came with some really great uh, uh, picture decals and some stickers and here's another uh, circuit piece and I have now I have a nice little collection of these because I had some prior to this haul and I'm thinking you know I can create a miniature that has nothing to do with electric and use those for parts now here's a bag that I picked up or that I found with those metal eyelets those micro metal eyelets and i've actually already used some of these on the vintage projector kits that i created and here are some more wood tidbits and that's a nice looking piece for a shelf to go with my brackets i love this little fabric uh, placemat here so i'm going to use this in the josephine house kitchen this is so cute it's got strawberries on it and it's hand stitched and fr frayed on the ed edges and here is a cute little loaf of bread with herbs on top. And I don't know if this is paper clay. It kind of feels like paper clay. But I put that in my bread bin in the Josephine kitchen. <laughs> and I've got a speckled pot that I'll add to the kitchen collection. Because you can never have too many pots and pans when you're a baker or a cooker. And here's a random little tire. And I'm pretty sure this tire is too small for my idea, but it did give me an idea to create a tire swing for the Josephine house. Now my grandson has a huge collection of cars and trucks, and sometimes, you know, they break. So I will be looking out for a suitable tire size for a tire swing to add to the front um, or somewhere in the yard of the Josephine house. And I also found this cute little rim that I, I'm not sure if this actually fits inside that tire, but these are great little pieces to display randomly for um, yard pieces or, you know, garage pieces or gas station pieces. So I'm excited about those little pieces right there. And here's a random little stone that I'll place in the yard and some more of those plastic 3D stickers, some wood tidbits, and some 3D printed scrapbook stickers it looks like. I've got this little wood block here that I've already used and turned into a book for the fortune teller room, a random pebble there, this vase of dried flowers which I absolutely love. I love those dried flowers and this plant here now I swapped this out with my sister and I just love that it has a little neglected look to it and I've already created a neglected plant that's sitting in the kitchen so I'm definitely going to place that around the house as well a couple cans and this great little shelf sitter it's a metal antique car and maybe this was her husband's as well so tiny friends great little bags I absolutely love them 
This is the third bag. I have another random stone that will make its way in the yard. Some random Mardi, Mardi Gras beads that I've already used uh, for a wall display in the uh, fortune teller room box that I recently did. Some stickers, some, oh, this little pull toy here is missing a leg. And now my niece had one that was completed and she did try to give it to me, but I ended up with this one and I'll create a leg for him. But here's a random caster piece, like tiny friends, what am I going to do with this? But <laughs> it's here and it's fun. It's fun, right? <laughs> so I found some great kitchen utensils here. I've got a ladle spoon and this piece right here is definitely one of my favorite pieces this metal meat hammer or this meat pounder here now I have one of these in real life and so did my sister so I took a picture of the two next to each other and this was super fun and way worth 25 cents tiny friends so I actually found some really great miniatures and you'll see this in the Josephine house later on as well and here are some metal tools that could have been her husband. So I'll have to create a toolbox for these tools. And then I will definitely be sharing that with you as well. I've got a metal um, toothbrush holder here that I might actually use instead of the Christenbaum kit for the Josephine house. I have a, a little kitchen glass, drinking glass here made of plastic or resin. And here is this tiny, teeny, tiny paper cup filled with pink lemonade and a lemon and a straw. And oh my gosh, tiny friends, this is so adorable and super small. I'm not quite sure what scale this is yet, but I know it's smaller than the scale I work in. And it is printed. It has a little tiny Minnie Mouse print on it. So this is super cute, super fun. And I absolutely love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this little tiny thing. Because I normally, I don't create that small. <laughs> I also found some more um, seed packs here. And in this bag, I found peas and uh, some more flowers and tomatoes. So I can now definitely put together a cute little garden box for the granny in the Josephine house. So I'm excited that I found those and some more circuit and random pieces here here's a random bead here and some confetti and wood tidbits and um i also found this here's a little wooden pot here and some wooden dowels and it, this bag had a lot of random things to it but some great miniature finds and i even found this little vintage notebook it's a remnant piece of what's left of a notebook and I thought you know what I'm gonna complete this I absolutely love it I love that it, ha it says big chief on the front with an Indian chief print so I'm gonna finish this notebook off and put it in the Josephine house and here are these uh, circuit uh, parts now I have some prior to this haul so maybe I can come up with some sort of unique creation that doesn't even have to do with electric <laughs> so I'll have to use my brain for that tiny friends but these bags were so much fun now um, I'm gonna show you this bed that I found this bed was on my list and I did I was looking for a specific bed I was looking for a full-size metal bed framed bed and there weren't many options in the dollhouse store but I did like this one it is a single bed but it's slightly larger than the average single and I absolutely love the bedding now the bedding reminds me of flannel bedding that you would use in the winter time and if I was going to leave it like this, I would leave it as a sheet set and not actual blanket or covering or maybe a throw blanket, which tiny friends, I have to admit, I actually did use it as a throw blanket and I created this bed already. Now you'll see it in the Josephine house up in the bedroom. And I wasn't really sure if I wanted to use it as a bed in the bedroom or if I actually wanted to take it apart it does come apart in three pieces and when I saw that it gave me the idea of if I didn't want to use it as a bed in the bedroom I would then take it apart in the three pieces and actually kind of stack it together and lean it against the wall 
and this way I could use it as a filler piece or a detail in the Josephine attic. And I, I really, really love that idea as well, tiny friends. So I would just stack it together like this. And I absolutely loved that idea. So um, I didn't, I decided to keep it. I, I painted it and dressed it and I did film it. And if I can conjure enough, enough conjure up enough footage to put together a video I will share that with you as well but you'll see that in the bedroom and we'll talk about it I had a great reference photo for that so I'll show you that as well but now I'm going to show you some pieces I found in one of my local antique stores and this is a resin chair that I found and I've been really hesitant to buy resin pieces the resin pieces that I see online are so detailed and I, I love them so much but I've never actually seen a resin piece in person. So, you know, I, I was very hesitant to purchase one. But this was a great piece. And now that I was looking at it in person and feeling it and look, feeling the texture and seeing all the detail, I decided to purchase it. This is a piece that's going to go in a future project that I have planned later on down the road. So I'm beginning to collect pieces for this project that I am going to share with you all. Um, but this is a fabulous chair that I found. And besides those amazing little boots, I didn't have any resin pieces. So now I have two pieces. <laughs> and then I found this Deacon bench here. And this is so finely crafted, tiny friends. This is a JBM piece. This is a high quality piece and I was very lucky to have this and I am so happy to have this in my collection and this is going to make a great addition to that project that I'm thinking about so I definitely could not pass this piece up and there was two but I really only needed one for the project so you know I should have bought them both but I I kind of felt bad and decided I will leave that for somebody else so this is a definitely a nice piece to have in my collection. The bench opens up, the detail is perfection. I am in love with this piece and you guys will see these two pieces in that future project. So this was definitely a lucky find and I was blessed to find these. So now I found, I also found a set of side tables here that I'm going to show you and I've already dressed one of them so I've already taken one and distressed it and dressed it up and again I think I filmed it so if I did I will have to fish through that and see if I can put together what I actually did to it but you will see it in the Josephine house bedroom it's sitting next to the bed as a side table in front of the window so you'll get to see what I've done to it if I can't share a video with you so I thought these were great little end tables or side tables. I also found this little SETI bench and I love this. This is like a mahogany wood colored. It's, um, I don't know who made this. It doesn't have a name or whatever, but I love the fabric. It's almost like a, it's not silk, but it's kind of like a silky fabric and it has a floral print on it. So I thought this was a great little bench to place maybe in the spare room or sewing room, but this is definitely gonna go in the Josephine house as well. So now here um, is a bed that I found. Now I found this bed for $12 at the antique store. And I never find miniature pieces at our thrift stores or our local antique stores. So I was very blessed to find this many pieces that I could purchase. But for $12, I could not pass this bed up. It's a mahogany wood. It's finely crafted. There's no sticker, no signature. I have no idea who made this, but I am so glad I found it and it made its way into my collection. I love the mattress on it, but it is quite thin. And to me, it kind of reminds me of more of a box spring. So I don't know, you know, I might create a whole new mattress for this bed, but the posters do come off for storage purpose and you can actually pull them right off and you know store it 
a little bit easier, but I love this bed, so I definitely did not pass this up for $12. Now, tiny friends, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. I really enjoyed sharing all my treasures with you that I found, and when we come back together again, I will be introducing you to the Josephine house, and that is going to be so much fun. So, Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite pieces are in the comments below. And until next time, tiny friends, you have a lovely day. Bye-bye now.